Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make responsive header in Elementor. So let's just begin. So the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. So from here you have to install Elementor header and footer builder. So I have already installed and activated this. So after installing this, what we need to do, we have to go into the appearance and click on Elementor header and footer builder. And here what we need to do, we have to click on add new. And now we need to click on skip. All right, so we have to provide the name here. Responsive header and this would be header. The type of template would be header and display on would be entire website. All right, so now let's click on publish. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to click on edit with Elementor. All right, so as you can see here, we are inside our Elementor editor. And in here, we're going to build our responsive header. Okay. So let's click on a container here. Click on Flexbox. And here we will go here with a three column structure. All right. So the first thing that we need to do, we have to change the content width. That will be full width. And after that, what we need to do, we actually have to change the value of padding to the zero. So this is for the first column. And this would be for the second column. And this would be for the last column. All right. So in the first column, I would basically add the logo of our website. Okay. So we're going to add the image. So let's click on choose image. And we'll basically go here with our logo. So I want to go here with the white logo because I would change the background color of our header to the black. So let's change the color of our container. So this would be black color all right now i need to change the image size so the image size would be into the px i would go here with 100 px or maybe 80 would look fine or we can go here with 60 as well okay so i think let's just settle for the 70 all right so in the second column we'll basically add navigation menu so this navigation menu is by the header footer builder. So let's just drag this and put this here. And now what we need to do, we actually have to click on the layout here. And in the layout, first thing that I would need to do is to change the breakpoint. So that would be mobile. And I have to put this into center. And what we need to do, we actually have to go into the style. So in this style, the first thing that I need to do, I want to change the text color. So that will be the white color. And what we can do here, we can change the hover color. So that would be a kind of this color, a kind of uh, pinkish color. So I think that will look perfect. So let me just copy this color. And in the active color, it will be this color. All right. So now what we need to do, we have to put this into the center. So we have to put our image and the menu into the center vertically. So let's go into the layout and what we need to do, we have to click on center. All right. So this is looking fine. And in the last, we can add the button. So it totally depends on our requirement. What do you want to add on the last column? So I'm going to go here with the button. So this would be the contact us button. All right. And I will go into the style. First thing I will need to change is the padding. So the top would be 10, bottom would be 10, and this would be 20, and the right side would also be 20. Okay, so I think this is looking fine. And I need to change the background color here. So let's click here and paste the color. All right. And what we can do here, we can change the text color to the black. All right, so this is looking fine. And I would also like to change the color on the hover. So when we change the color, so the text would be white and our background color would be basically empty. And on the border color, we're going to have kind of pinkish color. Okay. Okay. So I will simply change the transparency of the color. So that would be zero because I don't want to have any background color when I move my cursor over the button. Okay. So this is looking fine. And I will need to add the border color so in the border it has to be solid we can go here with one width 
All right, so now this is looking fine. Or I think we can go here with the white color. All right, so this is looking perfect. Okay, so now what we need to do, I'll just simply update this. And now we just have to make this a responsive header. Okay, so how can we do this? We just simply click on the responsive mode and we'll go into template portrait. All right, so we need to do some adjustments here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, I have to change the width of our first column. So this would be maybe 20 percentage. So this would be the percentage. Okay. And now I have to change the alignment of the button. So I would need to go into the layout. And this would be onto the end side. Okay. And I think we just need to add some space here. So let's go into the advanced. And we just need to add some padding here. So that would be from the right side. Okay. So this is looking perfect. All right. So here in the menu, I think this is looking fine. And I'll just simply update this. So now to make this mobile responsive, we have to do a trick here. We won't do anything on this uh, container. We'll basically create one more container that will be specifically designed for the mobile screen. Okay. So here what we need to do, we we'll simply go back to the desktop version right now. And I would basically duplicate this. And now you can see this, we have the same error here but we'll do some changes here so in the mobile version i don't want to have the button so i'll just simply delete this part so let's just delete this all right so here i also need to remove this container all right so first i need to change the width of our second container so this would be okay so we have to make the adjustment accordingly with the logo this is 25 percent and i have to change this to the 75 percent all right, so now this is looking fine. And now what we need to do, I have to click on our menu here and we have to click on the layout. And from here, I have to change the layout to fly out. All right. And here, what I need to do, we just have to go back into the style. And in the menu trigger, I have to change the color. So that will be a kind of white color. Okay, so this is looking fine. And now what we need to do, we have to go back here and into the layout. So I want to do a slide on this. So this will be, all right. So I think the center will look perfect. And now what we need to do, okay, this is looking fine. So if I just click here, all right. So I think the first I need to change the color of the text. Okay. So we have to go into the style and here, what we need to do, we will simply change the color of the text here. So this would be black color and on the hover effect. Okay, so I think we can go here with this color on the hover effect and on the active, this will look fine too. So now what we have to do, so you can play around with these values here with the fly out box weight and with the fly out box padding, with the horizontal padding, vertical padding. So I would like to add some space here. So I think this is looking fine and I would also put this a kind of here. Okay, so this is looking perfect now. And now what we need to do, I can also change the background color here. So I can change it any other color, but I think the white is looking perfect here. All right. So let's just update this. All right. So now you can see that we have the two different headers. So we have to make them screen specific. So for the first one, I will make this specific for the desktop and the tablet version. So how can we do this? You just have to click on the responsive and hide this on to the mobile portrait. Okay. So let's just update this. We can do the same thing for the second header. So in the second header, what I need to do, I'll go into the advanced settings, go into the responsive again, and I will hide this onto the template and the desktop version. All right. So let's just update this. And I need to do one thing here. First, I have to go into the mobile portrait. And what I need to do, I have to change the width of our column here. So let's click here. So this would be 50%. And the second one would also be 50%. Okay, so I have to change this into the percent. All right, so I can see this. We are having our logo and our hamburger on the same line. Okay, so I can decrease the size of our logo here. So let's click here. And I think this would be 50, maybe. This is looking fine. Okay, so let's just update this. And now we will go back to our website. Okay, so let's click here onto the widget side. And we'll be able to see our header here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is how our header is looking. So if I just click on the aspect and we'll basically put this into the responsive version. Okay, so from here I can change 
the size of the screen okay so right now it's on the mobile screen so if i just click on the hamburger you can see this we are having our menu here okay so if i just close this and if i just change the size to the tablet version so let's just go here with the ipad you will be able to see the responsive header on the tablet screen as well so now if i just go back to the desktop version so let me just close this now you can see this we have the responsive header on the desktop screen too so this is how you can create a responsive header in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel